happiness big subject I wrote in my journal this morning can we be truly happy I was going to write a post on it but it feels as if this would I'd be happier doing it maybe maybe I should be writing or wrote when or how how will I truly be happy I've lived quite a diverse and still living quite a diverse and eclectic life some would say in reverse got into a fatherhood at a very early age as a means to run away from responsibility how does that work not finding happiness is where I was as a child a young adult looking to gain happiness within a relationship and with children looking at if I have the love of a child my children then I will be happy if I have this job at the point in time I was heavily into martial arts I would manage to do this with a medal or two which are up or behind us I will be happy finding and this is obviously a very condensed version that I wasn't happy in a relationship and leaving that relationship looking for happiness wasn't there Coming lost in a reckless existence looking for easy happiness fixes within sex within alcohol within lots of different areas not finding happiness looking to educate myself being NLP master practitioner clinical hypnotherapist counsellor coach and one of the first things I remember being told as I studied NLP was deal with your own shit before you deal with anyone else's boy was it true was it true And I've realised that no matter how much money, this is for me, how much money I hear people have, the lifestyle that they have, doesn't matter if they're a director of their own company, to anyone. I lived for two years less than £1,200 a month I was blissfully happy I've been in a situation where I've had 10 times that and not been happy so where does happiness come from if we search for it in the outside world on the reality that we see this camera we hear about people saying that if you have £60,000 a year, that's your threshold for happiness. Any more than that would mean that you're not going to be any happier. But the same could be said for having less than that. So if money's not what makes us happy, why do we strive for it? Why do we strive for a job that we think once we get to this position it will give us more time off, we'll be able to do this, we'll be able to retire sooner and we'll be able to be happy when we retire sitting in a boat on a beach fishing with our grandchildren. I'll be happy when.
we got wake up in the morning already predetermining that the day is going to be bad worrying about things that haven't even happened to us with expectations about how that's going to make us feel and already we're already already we're already we're already in that place of how we're going to feel then even before it's happened I spoke about being in a work being in a job being in a role and focusing all of our attention about what we don't like about that role rather than seeing what we're gaining from that role who we're becoming as we go through this path I've coached lots and lots and lots of people for nothing in order to practice and follow through on who I believe that I want to be that I am of service and it's not about chasing a dream that's empty but it's about finding that belief in ourselves and that realization that if happiness doesn't come from the outside world, if happiness doesn't come from the job, it doesn't come from the relationship that you're in, it doesn't come from the potential relationship, it doesn't come from owning the latest Xbox, it doesn't come from whatever it may be, then it only ever is going to come from within. We have to be satisfied. With the person that we are we have to believe and this is not a belief of an illogical manifestation I am gorgeous I am one it's the belief that we are perfection it's the belief that when we drop that noise in our head that that innate wisdom call it God, call it Buddha, call it Allah, call it whatever you want is there to help us is there to become at ease to help us become at ease with who we are and to reach our full potential It's not about giving up free will. It's not about thinking, well, if it's all going to fall out, if it's all going to fall into place and I'm going to become this and I'm going to earn this and I'm going to marry this, so then all I need to do is just stay in bed and do nothing. we still got to get up. We've still got to do the work. We've still got to play out fully. Work to our maximum. But do it because we're doing it for ourselves rather than that external carrot on a stick that we're chasing. Or possibly even running away from if it's a scary carrot Ooh, behind us. Whoa. Because we're creating those fears either in our past or about the future as we're moving forward thinking that if I get away from that I'll be happy if I chase that I'll be happy if I love myself if I find peace in myself if I see that myself I'm truly happy with it doesn't matter the glasses the eye colour is being happy honestly happy not a delusion 
It's finding that peace within yourself. I've said something and I'm, it's on, I'm not a godly man. But it's finding that spiritual essence within ourselves. It's finding that God with a little g. That creative person. That essence of perfection. That is deep and buried within us. And it's, it's that that comes to us almost as the day dawns. You know, as you're just opening your eyes or if you're just falling asleep at night. Before those thoughts emerge that you're harboring, or as those thoughts dissipate of the days, all those worries, all those stresses, it's at that point in time that we can see the true reality of who we are as we can feel the true reality of who we are and when we're calm and when we're still then we're at peace with ourselves and true happiness occurs and it's being able to give a nod to that it's being able to say that throughout the day no matter when those noises that ego appears whatever branch of psychology you want to look at that we can hear that silence even in the midst of an argument with our spouse or partner that we can hear that silence even though we're at work and we're not enjoying what we're doing now I don't know how you find that silence without talking to me I know how I found it. The little bit of work. Lots of questions. And then filing, finding that silence within me to hear the answers. Because the answers don't come from other people. The reason for us doing NLP wasn't to help other people was to away it was to communicate I hadn't realised it was to communicate with myself to hear the language that the negative grim the grim that was always searching was using and what I've realised is I found the language of love and we're not talking no more we're talking peace, clarity, calmness. I did a little live the other day about I've been walking up a hill for a long period of time and some of you might resonate with this. And it's been a hard slog. And along the way, there's been trinkets I'll be reaching for this, I'll be reaching for that. And I pass those trinkets, I pass those those thoughts of this what this is what will make me happy. Dog thinking, if I had food, I'd be happy. And as I've got to the edge of this cliff, I've been standing there for some time realizing that there was nothing at the top but myself. And I can either go back down and look at those trinkets or I can step off. I can step off the cliff with a knowingness that I'm not going to fall. I can give myself the belief and the trust in what's inside. And that's where I found happiness. Of the realization that I already had it. I hope that makes sense.
Thank you very much for listening. I'd love to hear your thoughts. How is this search for happiness affecting you? Have a great day.